I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. There's nothing that I'm afraid of, you know what I mean? And that's why I'm the individual that I am. You know what I mean? I used to I walk it like I talk it. In today's video, we will take a look at a young, aggressive Mike Tyson in a match against promising boxer Alex Stewart. Mike Tyson used to be this troubled youngster who was saved from the streets and then nurtured and developed into a champion. Now Mike Tyson wants to tell us that you can get out of the kid, can get out of the ghetto, but you can't get the ghetto out of the kid. And that's how he's going to recapture the heavyweight championship. And he just might do it. Here's a look at the man he's going to be throwing those bricks at tonight, Alex Stewart. Alex won the heavyweight bronze medal at the 1983 Pan American Games and was supposed to be a major test for Iron Mike. And right now, only one person standing in my way. I mean, this will put me what I've been working for since I was a little kid. I mean, this is what I've dreamt about, being in a major fight where the opponent is just as good and you just have to have that little edge. On February 11th, 1990, Mike Tyson was defeated by James Buster Douglas, which cost him the title of undisputed heavyweight champion. Although he had hoped for a rematch, Douglas instead opted to face the number one contender, Evander Holyfield. Thus, Tyson was forced to take the path of return. His first opponent was 1984 Olympic gold medalist Henry Tillman, who defeated Tyson twice in the amateur tournament. Mike easily defeated Tillman by knocking him out in the first round. Tyson's next fight in his comeback period was against Alex Stewart, a promising fighter with every one of his 26 pro wins by knockouts. Stewart was undefeated in his first 24 fights before falling to the rising Evander Holyfield. However, Stewart went into the fight with Tyson with a 26-1 record and was seen by Tyson as the more serious opponent than Tillman had been. Although the fight was initially scheduled for September 22nd, Tyson suffered an injury while training from his sparring partner Greg Page. The cut required 48 stitches, causing the fight to be rescheduled for December 8th. Question as in all Tyson fights, can the opponent... As soon as the fight began, Tyson went on the attack and threw Stewart two punches, the second of which knocked Stewart to the canvas less than 10 seconds after the start of the fight. This could be quick. I was afraid of a 30-second sound bite. All right, man. Okay, let's go. Stewart was able to get up before the count of five and continue but was met with many powerful punches from Tyson. At one minute, five seconds of the round, Stewart was again knocked down by Tyson's right hand. This time, he got up just before the count of eight, and referee Frank Cappuccino allowed Stewart to continue. The three knockdown rule was in effect, leading Tyson to continue his furious attack on Stewart, trying to get a third knockdown that would give him an automatic victory. At two minutes, 27 seconds of the round, Tyson threw Stewart a short blow with the left hand and knocked Stewart down for the third time, ending the fight and giving Tyson the TKO win. Well, Stewart said that Tyson was a mountain he had to climb. He just got knocked off that mountain. How important was it to you to score a first round knockout tonight? Well, I mean, I knew he was a dangerous fighter once he got warmed up. And my objective, I was in great shape. He was to go in there and put the pressure on him for 10 rounds. I knew I had to break him eventually. 
You appear to be in sensational condition. Do you feel considerably differently now than was the case 10 months ago in Tokyo? Absolutely, because our mind is more prepared. You know, I mean, that's what basically the whole standpoint came down to, being prepared mentally. How does your situation compare now to what most people would regard as the peak of your career when you knock Sphinx out here in 91 seconds? Well, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't feel like it was a sustained shoot of night tonight because there are things that I know that I did that were mistakes. So, you know what I mean? A good fight, and I'm in good shape. And I just like to thank all my fans on HBO that's been supporting me. But I just like to say this is my last fight on HBO. It's because HBO, they think that you'd rather see Holyfield than me. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all. As you know, Iron Mike had a valid contract with HBO. But after the match with Stewart, Tyson did not like the critical remarks about him by the famous American commentator and channel reporter Larry Merchant. Without thinking twice, Tyson put forward an ultimatum to the HBO leadership to choose between him or the veteran TV journalist. Mike must have been seriously surprised by the quick decision of the television bosses. They chose Merchant over Tyson without hesitation. Realizing his threats were not taken seriously, Mike ended his contract with HBO and entered into an agreement with their arch rival, Showtime. Please do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new episodes about the boxing legends of the past. See you next time.